regulatory capture is it's an old theory of regulation that suggests that the regulate the regulators so the regulatory agencies will be captured by the very industry that they regulate for example regulation of airlines the regulations actually benefited the regulated industry at the expense of consumers and it was only with the deregulation that we saw in the late 1970s that airline prices came down um, innovation exploded but it was by removing that regulation that consumers benefited. You tend to see larger companies seeking government favors, in part because bigger businesses have the ability. They've got the Washington office, they've got the resources, they've got the lawyers and the lobbyists. They can deal with the government regulation, whereas the smaller companies don't have that ability. When I was in government, I saw cigarette manufacturers asking for FDA regulation of cigarettes. I saw biotechnology companies asking for regulation of biotechnology products. You often will see business groups and environmental groups or consumer groups seeming to work together. Or in fact, sometimes the business support of a regulation is invisible. And an example of that would be appliance efficiency standards, in particular washing machine standards that were set um, several years ago. The washing machine manufacturers actually wrote the regulation. And when you read the transcript of their meetings, they argued for the regulation saying, here we are creating these expensive new washing machines that are much more energy efficient, and yet people aren't buying them. The consumers come to the showroom, they see the expensive machine, we tell them it'll cost them less over the life of the machine, and they say, no, we still would prefer to buy this less expensive machine, even if it uses a little more water. They argued in these transcripts that if we can get the government to require the expensive machine, then we won't have to worry about consumer acceptance anymore because they'll have no choice. And sure enough, the new energy efficiency standards were set for washing machines, never mentioning that goal. The goal was only on energy efficiency. Um, so a high noble goal, but meanwhile it was really supported by the business that would benefit.